I'm Jen Kashedis, and I'm a laboratory specialist. I work in the Department of Microbiology in Penn Hall at the UVA School of Medicine. I became interested in laboratory sciences because I really like to have control over my own day, and I'm very results kind of oriented. So I really enjoyed the ability to plan experiments, see results, and just interact with other people, but to have control. Um, I find that in laboratory sciences, there's freedom to schedule, and the science is very flexible. So things can take time, they can take a day, an hour, over a weekend. So I felt like laboratory science was actually a really compatible career for my skills and my interests in wanting to see results and have some control over my day. I graduated with a degree in biology, and actually I didn't really know what I was going to do with that at the time. Um, both my parents were teachers and I considered going into education, but I actually wound up taking a chance and getting into laboratory research um, at a small company near where I, where I, where I went to school. And I really enjoyed the ability to learn something new. They did not expect me to know everything. They actually preferred to show me the way that they were gonna do something. So there was a lot of on-the-job training and I found that to be true everywhere I went. When I left that company, I actually moved across country a couple of different times and the skill set that I kept gaining along the way really made me more and more and more remarkable everywhere I went. So I feel like there's actually a lot of places that you can look for a job all the way across the country, whether it is in a smaller setting, a startup, a large company, and those skills are really transferable because people are gonna be working on really specific parts of a scientific project. But if you are somebody that has the skills that transfer, like tissue culture, um, working with um, in vivo models or protein biochemistry, molecular biology techniques, those skills can transfer across any kind of disease research. So you can work in inflammatory disease, microbiology, immunology, cancer research. You'll be able to sort of talk to and understand exactly where you want to apply those things. And there's usually going to be an opportunity where someone can hire you and meet you halfway and be willing to tra train you and treat your, your skills as an advantage and then bring you on and, and really teach you the new things that are unique to their lab. A typical day in the lab for me can be basically running an experiment. That would be my favorite kind of day in the lab. Um, I love to spend time, actually this is my favorite room, and I love to spend time in here splitting cells, thinking, planning experiments, and actually getting things set up. I really enjoy setting things up carefully and having a well thought out, well controlled experiment going. Results day can also be fun too because you're actually getting to see all of the fruit of your hard work. Also, there's always probably gonna be a meeting of some sort. We have a lot of times where we're getting together with collaborators outside of our lab who we might be working with. And then we also have a weekly meeting within our lab where people share results. And um, there's a lot of different, there's seminar speakers that come in. There are symposiums that are going on. This is part of the beauty of being able to make your own schedule is that you can choose the ones that are very relevant to you. And sometimes you have to make a tough choice and stay in the lab and get your experiment done, but you know it's gonna be worth it. <laughs>